Hi there, let's set up the TP-Link Deco X50 mesh system. Well, I've got two pieces here and I will use this one as the main deco and this one as the secondary, as the range extender. So let's put it aside so far and let's set up the main node. First of all, you need to plug it in, into the power socket. And here you have this LED indicator, it's yellow for now. You need to wait for it to start blinking blue. And in the meantime, let's install the TP-Link Deco application. This is the only way to uh, set up your mesh system because there is no way to enter the web console and set up it from your browser. You can access the web console later, but first of all, you need to uh, set up the Deco using this application. Once the app is installed, hit the open button or go to your home screen and find the application icon there. Tap on this icon and this is the first launch. You have to agree to the terms and conditions. Tap on continue, allow notifications or not allow and you need to create a TP-Link ID or if you already have an account, just log in. Uh, I'll skip the account creation step because it's super easy. It's no harder than registration somewhere on Amazon. So let me just log in and show you how it works. You can turn on fingerprint login later and set up two-step verification as well, maybe later. Paint your home in Wi-Fi. So make sure that your Wi-Fi is on your smartphone and tap on let's begin and then grant location permission while using the app. So of course, allow to find, connect to and determine the relative position of nearby devices. This is necessary, allow this function. Looking for deco. Now I'm prompted to go to wireless settings and connect to the deco's network. Let's do it. Wireless settings, the deco is found. Let's tap on the deco's network to connect. Uh, once again, make sure that you have the blinking LED indicator. It must flash blue. Connecting to Deco. Just be patient here. It may take some time, up to two minutes. Found it, finally. Now it's connected to Deco and let's hit the only button here, set up the Deco. And here you have two options. You can use your Deco as, as an access point, uh, connecting it via the Ethernet cable directly to your modem or uh, modem router. Or if you don't have a modem, you can hit this button and connect Deco to a LAN port, so directly uh, to the LAN port, LAN socket in your wall. I prefer to connect as an access point. So we have three Ethernet ports here. Connect the Ethernet cable to any of them until you hear a click. And the other end you need to connect with your router. So now that's it, let's hit this arrow and now restart your modem. Let's do it. I'll power it off. Oh, it was powered, powered off. <laughs> so now I just, I just have powered it on. Anyways, you need to restart your modem and check for the LED signals on your modem. Um, the set of light signals may vary depending on the rotor model, but anyway, uh, you have to make sure that your rotor is broadcasting uh, the internet, so it must be connected. Usually this is the planet icon. 
In the case with my model, uh, I need to see the planet icon uh, to be green. It's orange now. Let me wait for the green light. And you need to follow your uh, rotor's user manual instructions. Yes, now it's green and my rotor is restarted. So I can tap on this button now, modem restarted. And where do you place this deco? So let it be office. Or uh, you can even customize the room name. Hit on custom and, and enter your room name. But I'm okay with office. Connect your deco to the internet. Uh, the connection type is automatically detected. You don't need this advanced settings so far. Uh, you can tap on next right here and create your network name and password. Let's call it my mesh. Of course, later you can rename your network. Let's create a basic simple password so far from one to eight. Of course, you can go difficult and create stronger password. But I'll do it later. I just want to show you how it works. Tap on next. It's creating new network. So the network is creating, uh, created. Now you see the LED green light here. Uh, you can save your Wi-Fi network to your phone. Hit on save. The phone is connecting to our My Mesh network. failed to connect to Deco's Wi-Fi in some reason. If you see this message, cl just close it. Uh, sorry, not close, just go to your Wi-Fi settings and check if you have a connection with, with my mesh network. I have this connection, so this is just an application bug and it, seem, it seems everything's worked. So let's go back to the application and hit on try again. from the sec second try and, <laughs> and everything is fine. Your deco network is set up, so uh, place the other deco units. Let's hit the next. Uh, so now uh, the main unit is set up and we can put it aside. And let's plug in the other deco units as it recommended to let to let it automatically join to our network. So once again, you need to wait for this indicator to start um, flashing blue. Well, now it's flashing blue and as I see from the recommendation from the screen, I need just to wait for it to be automatically connected to the network. But if this won't happen, we will just hit the down button and see what happens next. Okay, uh, some takes and tries <laughs> and now we have Deco X50 has joined your network. This is about uh, this piece of Deco. So now we have the main Deco, uh, which, which is named Office and Deco F998. Let's tap on this Deco to see if we can to rename this unit. Yes, guys, I found it. So as we've just seen, new DECA connects to the network automatically. And if you wish to rename this DECA, you need to relaunch the application.
If you don't see this screen, if you see the initial screen of the setup from scratch, you need to close the application, then relaunch it. If it doesn't help, if it relaunch once again, no problem. And then you can tap on your new deco. This is your network, so tap on new deco icon once again. And here you have this uh, note icon, so tap on the note icon. And you can rename it, for example, let's rename it to hallway if you want to set up, set it in the hallway or basement garage and so on. Now it's renamed. And of course, from this application, you can manage your deco. Uh, you can go to the more tab and here you have Wi-Fi settings. You can rename your network and uh, set up new password. As you can see, uh, at the same time, uh, uh, this mesh system broadcasts 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz network. It means your devices will connect to the best corresponding network at the fastest possible speed. Uh, so uh, you can create the guest network. Uh, it's a good way to share Wi-Fi with your visitors, keeping them separate from your uh, main network. Well, uh, I'm not walking through all functions right here. I just want to show you a couple of capabilities. Uh, so you can reserve the IP address for your printer and scanner. Uh, I think you want to do it pretty much because uh, all devices have the dynamic changing over time IP and for printer it's not very good. Uh, and so on guys, you can uh, turn off the LED at night, always on, always off or schedule off. If it's fr frustrating at night, you can just just power off the LED, keeping the internet. Uh, here you can have parental control, uh, VPN control and much more, much more functions. But uh, this is not the focus of this video. We are all set for now. Uh, hope this was helpful. Thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and be awesome. Bye guys.